Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the creator and head witch behind Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are brand new, welcome. If you are an old friend, welcome back. Today's video is going to be connecting with divine feminine energy which I am totally feeling like today, right now, is the perfect moment to connect with this energy. I ran out to go do some, um, you know, do some errands and get my nails done when I was headed back. I had this feeling in my spirit. I'm like, I need to do Divine Feminine as soon as I get home. And then I looked at the clock randomly. It was 3.33 p.m. on the clock. And I was like, yep. Confirmation. We're doing it. As I was driving back, I did start to channel some messages from Spirit. And I wanted to share them with you guys. As I'm setting up the cards and getting them ready and getting them blessed. Before I share those messages with you, I wanted to put out a, a quick prayer really quickly because I like to move with intention always. Dear Divine, I thank you so much for this beautiful time that we have together right now. Me, my guides, the guides of the viewer, and the viewer themselves. I'm working with the tarot this afternoon, Spirit. I ask that you speak clearly and directly through the cards as I'm using them as a tool in order to activate my intuition. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your energy. I ask for guidance and clarity, direction, insight for divine feminine energy at this moment. Protect them, guide them, help them to be prosperous and abundant. Help them to be filled with peace and love and let it be lasting. Speak to me to the cards. Give me the discernment and the ears to hear what you're saying, the eyes to see what you are trying to reveal, what you are trying to show. And may all who are watching this right now, may they walk away from this reading feeling blessed feeling centered, and feeling more connected to you than ever. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the number five. I'm also hearing this um, notorious B.I.G. No, no. No, notorious B.I.G. And the number five, I don't know why. I'm hearing the word, uh, um, pros is it prosperity or is it promise? Promising? A promise, a promise, like a prom, pro oh, like a promise ring or something? Um, I heard the word lake. If you guys hear any noise in the background, Nova is in her crate right now with a new toy. So she's uh, throwing it around. But um, I'm seeing a big lake. Someone's going, I, for some people, there's a message about going to the lake or lakeside or a message having to do with a lake. Um, there's also a message here. I don't know if this is the same thing, if it's connected to the lake message, but there's a message about feeling like no gravity, feeling like gravity lists, like disconnecting from, from gravity for a while. I, the, one of the things that I'm thinking of is those, um, anti-gravity salt pool things that people float in like a float tank flotation therapy, I think is what it's called. I'm hearing, I'm seeing actually, Spirit is showing me led astray. I almost want to write it down. Something feels like it's leading you astray. 
when I was asking about, in my head, I was asking spirit about notorious. I feel like someone is being notoriously led astray by someone who's known to do something in a way that is not, I heard, I'm hearing the word cunning, that they're a very intelligent person, but they use their intelligence. They use their intelligence for bad and they take, they take kindness for weakness. So they can, they're preying on kindness in people. So this is a direct warning. I'm also seeing um, someone doing something nice and like something bad happen, happening when they're doing something nice. Like someone intentionally does something to hurt something or poison something. So you guys just be really feminine energy. Definitely be aware of this. Something about like being caught slipping or slipping or like you're not fully attentive you're not fully attentive to something so you don't see and you're you see the best in someone and you are being going to uh, get taken advantage of so please be aware of that spirit talk to me more about that that's a very specific message someone who has a bad reputation is going to live up to that reputation or has divine feminine and you're in it right now chariot this might have to do with travel being on the road this could be around your car or around transportation or something, just something around travel feels, um, spirit is saying nondescript. So I don't, I feel like that's more a message to me to leave it more open instead of me going into the details of it. So I'm gonna honor that. Is there anything else that you wanna say about that spirit through the cards just to help me? Oh my God, they just said you're doing great Jess, thank you. That's so cute. I really do appreciate that. It's so funny. It's not very often that they come through and they're just like, thank you. That's so funny. Temperance card and the King of Pentacles. This feels something separate. This is an individual. This is something Spirit says is an individual. So I'm, and I'm seeing them picking it up and putting it over here. So they're picking this up and they're putting it over here, which means that it's not the same as this. <laughs> thank God. This feels like there's some healing when it comes to... King of Pentacles energy, what does this represent for you? Some of you, a lot of you guys know what this means. I'm also seeing bees, like bees coming from this side, so the West. Um, I always forget the saying, the West, because um, I always get things backwards. Sun rises in the East and sets in the West. So something from the past is, is active. I feel like something from the past is, yeah. Something from the past is active. Hey Google, what direction does the sun set in? Gosh, she failed me. Pretty sure it's the west. Anyways, um, sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, uh, something is, and literally the sun's setting over here in the West. I just feel like something in the past is setting. Something is coming to a close. Something is busy closing out. Something is actively being closed out. Their spirit is working on closing something out. Closing out. Is it like, I don't want to, I don't want to say a chapter because I'm jumping the gun with that. A cycle. Is it a cycle? I'm hearing, whoa, I heard repetitious affairs. Wow. Okay. That's very specific. Repetitious affairs. So this could actually be an, an actual affair or this can be things that you do repetitiously that maybe is just, it's like I'm, I'm getting a vision of wheels on a tire, like tires, tires on a car and the wheels <clears throat> running, running, running. They're like, someone said that they're like old reliable. But even the most reliable things sometimes wear down over time. And I feel like there's this message of like the good thing is being replaced with another good thing. <clears throat> you don't hold on to old tires. You, you let them go. Um, this King of Pentacles feels like old tires that are just worn down. Like you can see that they don't have a tread on them anymore. To continue to ride on them is to make like a I, I just heard like mechanical failure too so there might be a lot of things like taking care of or oh my god look guys the chariot card here too as well speaking of I didn't even see that 
Um, I mean, I saw it, but I forgot about it because I was moving on over here. This could be really divine feminine taking care of your car, making sure that the wheels on your tires are legit taken care of. If you are lack like wait, uh, wait, waiting to replace the, your tires on your car, do that. Do that. I would hate to see this on this. Like the chariot on water right now does not feel good, okay? I even want to like cross cancel, delete that energy right out of this space right now. I don't like that. This is actually doing the right thing, like doing the responsible thing, putting the money into that. Don't spend your money doing silly stuff. You got to you gotta take care of business. As they're divine feminine. There's this huge message about taking care of your responsibilities. You might have a reputation. You might be notoriously known for maybe paying attention to like your nails, paying attention to your eyelashes or Botox or something, something having to do with vanity or attention and then neglecting what needs to actually be taken care of. So do that, do that. I mean, now that I'm looking at this lower level, I just feel you don't wanna hurt yourself in this, in this situation. And um, for some of you guys, I'm also seeing a big emphasis on budget, maintaining a budget. Some of you guys have a team around you or you have certain people looking at things. You need to now look at it for yourself. You need to you need to take control of the reins yourself and um, step into a leadership role and kind of fix things or adjust things or tweak things to how you see fit. Some of you guys are fe divine feminine or being not called out, but spirit is calling you to see um, okay, I, I was going to say something else and they said, just call it like a lack of regard. Like you guys might ignore something, um, and just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And they're like, you're notorious for doing that. Like people might've laughed at you for that, or you might be this queen of wands here reverse is giving me like your priorities are not in the right space you know what i mean it's one thing to do self-care self-love or treat yourself or <clears throat> put things off so that you can rest recover recuperate but it's another thing to stay in that space things need to be balanced off here with the chariot especially with the temperance card in order to make sure that you are successful and smooth sailing uh channel this king of pentacles right now energy and just kind of tap into that even further and now spirits like and we're done <laughs> okay love that yeah, Page of Pentacles, I'm sorry, not Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords up, well, reversed, and Knight of Swords is like you skipping over the things that you don't want to see. Kind of putting a blindfold, blindfold on yourself and just keep raging, you know what I mean? Or jumping and to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next idea, to the next thing, and it's just like... Yeah, we have Seven of Cups here and the Moon card reversed. So we want to take care of the things that need to be taken care of. We don't want to put them off any longer. So Divine Feminine, that's one of your first messages. Let's talk about health for Divine Feminine because that was something that was coming through when I was driving back. I was seeing this emphasis for Divine Feminine on... Um, and I couldn't tell if this is divine feminine or divine masculine or just in general or divine. If you're a male, the divine feminine within you, meaning like what you need to ask for help for has something to do with your kidneys. Um, and I just heard reproductive health, but it's like how your body, how your body um, filters itself. So I don't know if that's like the lungs. It's giving me like the twins, like the energy of the twins, like Gemini. So your kidneys, your lungs, your ovaries, your testicles, anything that's like double. Something how it like filters itself. It could be ear. I don't know why I'm getting like earwax removal or earwax buildup. Something that stops something from getting in. Um, I'm also getting like over, like something being overly saturated. So this could be too much of like the kidneys taking on too much, uh, like, I don't know if there's alcohol, sugar, syrups or something. If this is the ears, it's earwax buildup. If it's the lungs, it's like toxic air. Something is just over, 
overly being done here and divine feminine energy and masculine. Yep. Tower card. See, it's something that it's like lifestyle building up. We want to take care of it better. Ovaries, if they're pinging, if they hurt, we want to look into that. Testicles, look into that. Get, get those things screened. If it's, even if it's not, if you feel this message resonates with you or if you're overdue, it's just time. Yeah. Moon card here. This could be, yes, dude. Ugh, don't even get me started. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. If you're denying, okay. Oh my God. I don't even want to talk about this. I really don't. I just don't like doing readings like this sometimes. Okay. Moon card, seven of swords is something that it can go unnoticed, right? It could be hormonal, but it can surprise. I'm not trying to scare anyone. I just am telling I'm telling the tale that Spirit is showing me, okay? Um, I do feel like with these two, these two energies here, well, this is three of wands, but with these two wands, it's the, the it's giving me the two. It's giving me seeing something like, something that filters or filters out. If this, this could also be hormones or the thyroid. <sighs> Everyone's gonna be different. If you're masculine, if you're a male, this message still applies to you um, because this is feminine energy where you need to go to get help or where you need to ask for help or have a checkup, have someone else come in and females, the message applies for you as well. However you identify. I want to say that this is hormones, but it's giving me like thyroid Anything in the doubles, like anything in the doubles. Um, I'm also getting a, 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 a oh, my body feels weird right now. I kind of feel um, this is giving me like big buku uh, anxiety, like anxiety disorder. Um, someone feels really, really like this could not have to do with health. This is, this could have a lot to do with anxiety, mental, mental health, emotional health. Yo, she's really chewing right now on her little toy. <laughs> I'm sorry guys if you're listening to that. I'm happy for her though. It's giving me big time anxiety. Yeah. Yeah, look, guys, it's the doubles. It's the doubles. It's the the twins. Also, high priestess is using your intuition, something that goes unnoticed, but you can, like, sense it. You can feel it. Yeah, we just want to close this out, really. Is We just want to... We just want to take care of this, right? If there's something... Some, some of you guys might be closing out some type of... I'm hearing the word, like, dialysis or something. I don't know what that is, but... Some of you guys might be closing out something when it comes to an an ailment or when you're closing out something you discover. It's like three of wands. You're waiting for the results, but you can feel something. You can sense something is off. Nine of wands. Yeah, it'll take you. This kind of could give me a possibility for an infection. I'm getting like three different ailments here. So one has to do with how the bit body filters itself. So that is lungs, kidneys. The ears, I, I don't know why the ears, like mucus buildup or over, like, and if that is it, it's an overproduction of, like it's an overproduction, something hyper, something too much of. Um, the others, this could be something that if you're already, okay, someone said um, something I'm doomed for, but you're not, you're not doomed. Like, let's say this is giving me like cancer, right? You're worried about, you're worried that this is going to be like, I don't want to say you, you're worried about the worst. You're expecting the worst. And it's like, I don't actually see that necessarily. I actually see you. I actually see something coming to a close, coming to, you know, just the body cycling itself, especially with the world card. It's like cycling, flushing, like flushing the body. Wow, this tea is phenomenal. 
I'm drinking um, white tea with jasmine and lavender and cinnamon honey. It's fantastic. Some of you guys are, if you found an infection in the body, it's just, you're gonna flush it. There's something about flushing the body. I feel like cutting this, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna put you, I'm just hearing like, we're gonna put you on, not bed rest, but we're gonna lay you down, like, lay you down and let and flush the body, let the body do what it does, you know? And it, the body is miraculous in, how the way, in the way that it heals. I'm also getting, for some of you guys, anxiety and the anxiety is triggering depression. Depression is not the the issue. That depression is like a is a by a byproduct of the anxiety, and the anxiety is imbalance. So, oh my God, this is like really. I I would love to continue on with this. Yeah, Eight of Swords speaking of which. I would love to continue on with this, but it's kind of giving me like the same way that I feel when I'm doing like a reading that's kind of like difficult and emotionally draining for me or energetically draining. For example, like the Gabby Petito reading. It kind of was bringing me back to that. I try not to do like missing persons readings or anything like that or health readings because they could just be a lot for me. I don't know how to like... Let's talk about... Um... What's the next message, Spirit? You just go ahead. <laughs> you just do you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I actually have this crystal here, which is funny because it's going to be available in the shop shortly. I'm just going to hold on to it, actually, while I... This might just be mine. This just might be mine. It's obsidian. It's an obsidian tower. Oh, um, there's also... We've got some selenite spirals. Random, you guys are probably gonna be like, what the frick, Jess? Are you allowed to say this on YouTube? Uh, I don't know, but I'm about to. So <laughs> whenever my, f never mind. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, goodness. Knight of Swords, yeah. Spirit's like, say it. Nope, <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh. All right, Spirit, what do you want to say outside of, outside of jokes? Guys, for those of you guys that don't know, I have a spirit guide that is freaking hilarious. I actually call him Santa. Because <laughs> he's just so funny. Not that Santa is funny, but it's just like... Everything he does is like a joke. Whenever we're working together on my healing, he's always like goofing off. I'm like, really? When it, and it, literally he comes through when I'm working with my mom. My mom's an acupuncture doctor. She gives me acupuncture. And um, she'll be poking with me with needles. And he'll just come through and just be like not tickling the spot where the needle is. But he'll just be like telling jokes and just being so silly every single time. Every single time. Or if I'm in the middle of a deep meditation... He comes through and he's just like, literally like laughs like Santa, like big, big personality, big, big belly. Just a good time all around. Very, very jovial. He reminds me like, don't take life so seriously. It's not that serious. Oh shit, almost dropped this thing. All right, spirit. What are you talking? What are you What are you saying? What are you talking about, Willis? What you got? What you got? What you got? I heard hands up, hands up. Put your hands up. Give me your heart. Give me, give me your heart. Give it to me. Hands up, baby. Hands up. I don't know why that's coming through. Give me your heart. Give me, give me. I just heard start the countdown. And I'm getting, like, this energy of, like, Reiki, a lot of energy shooting through my hands right now. Some of you guys are really about to, I want to say, spirits, like, buckle up, baby. This feels really good. It feels really exciting. It feels very promising. It feels like, 
some of it, spirit is kind of guiding you guys away from a something. I heard something that you had an, a meltdown in. Think about the last time you had an emotional meltdown. Spirit is saying like that's the area of their life of your life that they're saying they meaning you guys. That's the area of their life that we're working on next. Like we are actively working on this area next. They're saying put your hands up, put your hands up, give me your heart. You guys have, um, you are expecting disappointment in this area of your life. And the reality is, is like, it's actually about to turn around for the good, which makes sense because you have nine of wands, five of pentacles. You guys know how I am. I'm not someone who likes to, I, I just heard, um, she's the purveyor of truth. I deliver truth. I deliver honesty and honesty is not always something that is harsh or punishing or painful. It's, it's just the truth. And this feels very promising. This feels really good. Give me your heart, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles is the heart. Let it go. You're expecting the worst, and the worst is not going to come. The worst is literally where the King of Wands is looking in the past. It's in the. It's beyond you now. You've moved past it. You've moved beyond it. Um, talk to me more. Some of you guys are like, but just the Three of Swords. I know, right? I feel you. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's just the lingering burden. It's the lingering energy. It's the lingering... I just heard resentment. Um, and some of you guys, it's not even like a resentment towards someone or something. It's like resentment towards spirit. You're like, I don't... Oh my God, there's two bluebirds that literally just came looking into the door. That's so cute. Um, so some of you guys might need to look at the blue jay. It wasn't a bluebird, it was a blue jay. The symbolism of the blue jay. Some of you guys are like, last time I opened my arms, my hands to receive something, it literally, you will not catch me slipping. Like you will not catch me off guard. Didn't we say that earlier today? It's like you're, I don't want to say hardened, but you just, there's like a quote, like you're wizened or wiser. I'm also hearing fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So you're just not trying to be fooled. But why? Like someone's spirit's like, but why did this? Talk to them about why it had to happen. Okay. Oh my God. I want to cry right now. I just want to cry. I want to hold, like give you guys a hug. Oh fuck. I hate, like I can't. I, I don't like feeling when people are hurting or disappointed or they don't understand. So they, spirit's like, tell them why. Tell them why. To get you to where you, okay, oh God, this reading, it's just going to, I literally feel like I could scream. Some of you guys need to like legit release, like you need to scream, you need to mourn. Um, Spirit is saying that the way that things were. That like that we to get you to where you like they want you to be, but the way that you expect things or the way that you learned things to be, or how you some of you guys like it, it's giving me like childhood stuff or trauma. Some of you guys know what you want, but the way that you look for it is something that is forbidden, it's taboo. Spirit is saying it's literally taboo. Every time you look for it in this way, spirit will make it evade you. It'll make it elusive. It'll make it, I heard, and you guys desperately, I hear a desperate attempt to search, to reach, to pull, to grab, to reach for it. And spirit's like, honestly, that's not, you think that that's what you want. We've actually talked about this before. Um, you think that that's what you want, but spirit's like, you would not, I heard grab bag. Like, it's like, it's like putting your hand in this grab bag and you're like, you think there's going to be a prize in there, but there's like mouse traps, there's poison, there's like arsenic, there's freaking anthrax. It's like, get your fucking hand out of that bag. That's not what you want. And you're like, but I want to put my hand, I want to put my hand, everybody else has their hand in there. And it's like, literally those people that's not poison to them. Like this is, this is different for them. So where you, why you had to experience this and why the thing that, 
eludes you, the things that was evading you, this one thing that you last had a meltdown, Spirit is talking about the meltdown. I'm like, my body is like surging with energy right now, guys, and I have not even... They want you, they're, they're teaching you a new, a, a new way, a new life, a new perspective, a new truth. And you have to let go of the old truth, the old perspective, the old, they're saying it's a fallacy. It's an old written way of things have to be this in order for it to get, get you here. And that's just simply not the case. You're allowed to mourn. But spirit is so protective of you and they are guiding you towards a better outcome and a different path. But what is hurting you is not actually some of the things that are being taken away from you. It's the fact that you, it's the journey itself. Like it's the journey itself that's kind of fucking you up because you're like, You're being called to do things differently when you want to do things tradition. You want to do things the way it's always been done. But if you looked at, if you peeled back the layers of the way that it has been done from maybe your family before you, were they really happy? Or did they just do this out of necessity or to survive or because they were tolerating or tolerant? Did they have addiction? Were they mourning? Was there some deep root said, what was the deep seated root like the deep rooted seed here. And spirit, spirit keeps saying, hands up, put your hands up, give me your heart, give me, give me your heart, give it to me. Spirit is like, hand over your heart. Yep, hangman. Yep, justice. I just heard this is gonna be working in your favor. Some of you guys are really. Uh, Oh my God, I just feel like a balloon just like let out in my heart. Like <sighs> some of you guys, you're going to be exhaling through this process next three weeks. Divine Feminine, you're going to be exhaling. It's not even like a pop. It's like a, <sighs> I did not know I was holding on to that. I had no idea. When you hand it over to spirit, It's the divine works in your favor. Law and order prevail because it's not left to you to decide. It's not left for, for just, it's not, it's not like justice is not in the hands of others. Justice is now in the hands of spirit, the divine. So hand it over, literally hand it over, free your hands of it. Give me your heart. Make a prompt. I'm hearing, make a promise to me. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to protect you. The way that I measure if you're good or bad is by weighing your heart and your mind. Are both of them clear and light? If not, I will cut you free from the things that have you hung up. Rely and hold on to me. Hands up. Hands up. Give me your heart, baby. Give it. Give me your heart. Give it to me. That's beautiful spirit. Wow. Um, I feel called to talk to you guys about this rose right here. I don't know why. Um, it just has significance for me. I don't know why. I'm, there's literally no backstory to it other than I've been working my magic at my altar. It's been around. <laughs> I don't know why that's important to share that. Um, it's not perfect, but I love it. It's not fully living, you know? This is fresh water. It's just spirit just moving, you know? It's just, I don't know, I love it. It's beautiful, it's fragile, it's soft. I love it. It's called a country rose. It makes me so happy. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know what else to say. Like it's just, I don't know why you're calling me to talk about the rose spirit. <laughs> I said, grab it. Okay. Oh. 
Spirit said, this is how I view you. Okay. To me, you are gentle. To me, you are precious. To me, you are an extension of myself. There were no mistakes in your creation. I hold your heart in my hands. I will, pro oh, I will protect you while you bloom. Spirit's talking about the thorns of the rose and how you don't have to hide those aspects of yourself. You don't have to apologize for the times where you have in a, in a, unintentionally hurt other people. There is a reason, at least when spirit right now, like spirit understands your heart and why you had to do what you had to do, why you had to say what you had to say, why you had to release what you had to release. You did the best that you can with the knowledge that you held at that time. And now I hold you. I will protect you. To me, you are precious. I give you grace. I give you kindness. I am patient with you. I will be kind to you. I give you love. This love is infinite. This love is yours. This love belongs to you. No one can take away this love. Your heart. I'm hearing this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Your heart. Let your love shine. Let me into your heart. I will help you shine. I will help heal your shine. I will comfort you. No one ever gets left behind. You are mysterious. You are unexplainable, but I understand you. I understand you. I alone understand you. I understand your wants and needs more than anyone else, more than your mother, than your, more than your father, more than you understand yourself. Give your heart to me. I will not hurt you. I have plans to help you be prosperous. I have plans to help you heal. I have plans to help you love. Talk to me about my plans for you. Whoa, I love that. Talk to me about my plans for you. I will get you there. You can have faith and hope in me, even though you may have lost your hope and your faith in the world. Hold on to your hope. I will not let you suffer. Any suffering has not been in vain. I am here with you now. I give you peace. Rest and know that I'm moving accordingly. Rest and know that I am moving. You can be still. When you are still, you will hear me. I did not abandon you. When you left, I stayed. I will wait for you for all eternity. Find your hope in me. Enough is enough. I hate to see you suffer. Okay. Yo, the divine is so beautiful and encouraging. Like, do we deserve it? <laughs> the street's like, yes. You are so encouraging, spirit. Like, you gave me encouragement earlier and I give you encouragement now because the way that you move is so powerful and I, I'm so in awe of watching you express your love for the collective because there's so many people out here who do not feel that. Divine, you are so good. 
I am in awe of you always. And thank you for sharing that message. I love God so much like just divine energy I love I just love I just love period just that's it like I just love oh my gosh I could literally just like melt into the ground right now because it's just so good like who else like who else but <laughs> you know I'm sorry I'm just like in awe sometimes all the time but sometimes just sometimes overwhelming and it's good overwhelming it's good grace I'm the most skeptical person I'm the most skeptical hardened person you have no idea but the divine's like will and power and love always pushes me into a space where I cannot question it even when I am so tragically like These cards are jumping. I have to chase this one. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah. Spirit's like, you little high priestess, you. Thank you. Yeah. If you ever doubt the divine, just know that I understand, but just come back. Come back to your faith. And I know it's sometimes easier said than done. I get it. There's something missing here. I keep hearing hands up. Put your hands up. Give me your heart. Give it to me. And these guys have their hands up. As above, so below. This is not a channeled message, you guys. This is just me talking to myself. Here's the wand here, too. We just got to repeat. We have another one here. What's missing? Wow. Let me sit with this because... Heard the word woozy. Spirit, speak. I'm gonna have to turn this music off so I can really hear right now because I'm like hearing something but I just can't hear it. Spirit, speak to me, please. Um, I can't really articulate this right now. It's also making me emotional. It's like a different human emotion I don't understand. I haven't felt yet that I know of. I don't know. I don't have the words for it. Um... It's the feeling of, um, oh, I can't say it. I don't know how to say this. I can't. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like really making me like emotional. It's the feeling of, um, gratitude times 10. When... This is like when prayers get answered after ho your hope was dashed. It's like spiritual water when you have been thirsting 
for so long. Like, it's beyond dehydration. It's hearing from, hearing the voice of God or hearing the voice of the divine or hearing from a departed loved one when you haven't heard from them in so long. I don't know what that feeling is, but I'm feeling it right now and it's overwhelming my body. It's a blessing. It's the divines showing you, not to prove to you, but every, everything that comes from the highest divine, like the highest love from the highest God will prevail. I heard some of you guys have turned your faces away from me and you're looking into the dark or you're looking into shadow and you stayed in the shadow for too long. You did this because you're trying to heal your heart and you're looking for answers. I'm also getting this message of understanding and I'm not mad at you. I was waiting for you to figure out what you needed to figure out and come back. This is more spiritual than it is anything else. And it has to do with, again, the meltdown. The time in your life where you melted down, where you're just like this, like I'm hearing thrown out with the trash, just, but it's like spiritual. So it's like worse than a physical throwing things away. Because that, you can't, you can replace that. But spiritual, things, spiritual gifts cannot be replaced or blessings from the divine cannot be replaced. Spirit is saying that I'm coming in and I'm cradling you. And as I'm cradling you, I'm going to coo into your ear, into your heart. What's next? You will, I'm hearing, you will hear from me. <laughs> When you say it like that, like, you will hear from me. You will hear from me. You will know my voice. You will hear my voice. You will know it's me. And it will light you up. If you've been waiting for it to hear from spirit, this is it. Divine feminine. If you've been looking for answers, if you've been asking for a prayer, if you've been asking through prayer, if you've been working your magic, you know, there's so many different paths. Like there's so many different ways. I just heard there's countless ways. You're going to get your answer. Some of you guys, your spiritual path might be changing. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Exactly. Something opens up. A door opens up. Hands up. Give me your heart. Um, I'm, I'm seeing like is so specific it's giving me christian vibes like a, a lamb left to be slaughtered or something i don't know what that means yeah yeah something was sacrificed here that's what it means yep yep something was sacrificed here when it comes to a connection or a part of yourself was literally thrown i just heard thrown onto the table um, some, something was disregarded, thrown out very, like something really special was thrown out, just thrown out like, and divine did not, people have fate, fate and they have karma and the divine did not approve, but it was like a test. Something, someone just walked away from something miraculous. It's like walking away from a unicorn. They had the, ch the choice to do better and they chose to run. They chose to hide. They chose to leave, abandon ship, jump ship. 
And spirit watched you have a meltdown from that situation and and watched you melt down, like watched and watched your heart grow heavy and watch your mind grow dark and watch your mind even go blank. Spirit did not like that. The person who have jumped ship and abandoned ship or whatever happened here, um, they have to live with that. Whether they realize it or recognize it or not, judgment is a shadow that will pass. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is here, so it'll take some time, but we're not... We're not wishing evil on anyone. But spirit, people have to choose their own path. They choose their own fate. And then, yeah, something else new is going to come in after this was dashed away. Because what what's messing spirit up and by what I mean by that, it's like everyone has their fate to choose, right? Like, and we're not going to punish them. Like, they have to, whoever they is, they have to live with themselves, you know? Um, but that just because they didn't choose and because they were, there was a lack of regard. Oh, I just saw my Archangel Michael protection oil here. Thank God. me. I'm literally going to work with this as I'm working with this crystal, guys, because <sighs> anyways, um, whatever they chose, you know, they, it, it doesn't leave you in a drought. It's not going to leave you in a drought, not for long, at least. And for you, Leo, probably like, just, it's been 10 years. You have no idea or seven years or seven months. <laughs> I get it. Yo, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Time sometimes. I'm like, what is that? What is that? I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> we're in this, we're in the same boat. Yeah. Six of wands though, but you'll be successful. Yeah. And sometimes time feels so slow. It feels like time stops and you're just counting the moments and the breaths and the minutes and the seconds. To get to when it makes you sick, it makes you heart sick. Yep, <laughs> Eight of Swords. It just messes you up. I get it. I'm your friend in this. All right, I was gonna say. So what do they do? Spirit's like, I, I'm going to tell you what you want. That's very specific. They said, I'm going to tell you what you want. When you go to your altar, when you go to pray, when you leave offering. It's like the wrong thing was slaughtered here. It was like you got slaughtered and not the sacrifice. You know what I mean? And take that how you want to. When you weren't supposed to be the sacrifice, you know? So I almost feel like something now gets sacrificed. It's not an actual animal or anything like that. It's like something that you have to do to, yeah, get you free your hands of it. Get your hands off of it. Sacrifice something, something big, something large. I heard a remote, like, I don't know why remote. Um, maybe if someone needs to stop watching TV, I don't know. But, um... Some of you guys, it's going to be a diet, like going on a fast or something, like food, sacrificing something that will not hurt you, but yeah, <laughs> as I say that, three of swords, um, nine of pentacles, something that has been kind of like hurting you. So let's say it's alcohol. Let's say you know what it is. You guys know what it is. Like, you know, <laughs> the thing that's going to take all the stuff. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. The thing that's going to take all the strength in your body <laughs> is what needs to be sacrificed here. Okay, we don't need to get into specifics here. To everybody, to each their own. You know. 
but it's literally going to connect you to infinite source and it's going to help you to hear God because it's going to be, it's going to cut out the distraction, cut out the noise. I'm also seeing, um, you guys replacing it with like a detox thing. Yeah. Have hope. And, and like, I'm, I'm, I just heard have expectant ears, expect to hear from me, expect a message. And this is definitely coming from the divine. It might come through your dreams. I don't see it so much as synchronistic numbers. Hold on a second. Although those will be light things. It'll be something more. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the power of the number three here. Some of you guys, this is a very specific message. Some of you guys are going to be getting into like DJing, like being a DJ or... Like, I don't know, something about like being a DJ, go, like going to a, or something like a, a concert, which is funny because I have a concert tonight. Hmm. Something about like new, that's a specific message for someone. Oh, the devil. Yeah, it's something having to do with temptation, food, cigarettes, alcohol. Yep, yo. King of Wands and the Death card. Let's just lay that shit to rest. It has something to do with, like, entertainment. Something that you can live without, but you choose to live with it, and it's, like, fucking you up. Okay, so spirits, like... Seek not, like don't don't look for that. Don't go towards it. Yeah, two of swords, four of cups. Say no. I couldn't make this shit up to you. I couldn't make this shit up. Like, four, two of swords is a no. Block, four of cups. Say no. And you will hear from God. You will hear from the divine. You will hear from your angels, your ancestors. They will talk directly to you. Some of you guys need to go to your altar, start leaving offerings, or tell them that that this is your. Maybe do it for three weeks this card right here yep okay four weeks at the home three to four weeks you decide you know yep yep this is you working on your altar this is you working on yourself this is you working on i just heard a premonition like working on receiving that premonition by detoxing and cleansing i'm also seeing baths always anytime there's a detox you put salt of the earth you put that into the water And then what spirit? Yeah. Four of pentacles, king of pentacles. I just heard the truth will be revealed. Like you'll hear from me, queen of cups. It's going to come right into your heart. Yep. Ace of pentacles. That's the last, that's the last card. This is the one thing that keeps showing up. It's like this big, wealthy seed that you were then going to be responsible and dedicated and determined to grow and build can you go through this quote-unquote fast in order to grow this thing because your fast is going to show your dedication your determination and how badly you truly want it all right divine feminine wow 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 <laughs> i need to go take a walk or something after that reading i don't even know what to say Thank you. I do not know what to say. <laughs>